Albums are a way to organize photos inside Lightroom CC so you can quickly access or share a particular group of photos. So let's take a look at how albums work. If the column on the left isn't open, click the My Photos icon here. In my Albums panel, you can see the albums we created at the beginning of each tutorial in this Get Started series for the sample files for that tutorial. So when an album is selected, like this album of sample files, over in the grid, we see only the photos in that album. As you've already seen, you can make an album in the Import Preview window at the same time that you're adding photos into Lightroom CC. If I want to make an album from inside Lightroom CC, I'll move to the plus icon here in the Albums panel, and from here I'll choose Create Album. I'd like to make an album of photos of dogs, so I'll type Dogs, and I'll click Create. And here's my new Dogs album over in the Albums panel. On the right you can see how many photos are in that album at the moment. To add a photo to this album, I'll just click on it in the grid, and then click, hold, and drag it on top of the album. And you can do this with multiple photos at a time. So I'm going to click on this photo of a dog and come over here and hold the shift key and click on this photo and that selects all the photos in between, all of which happen to have dogs. And then if I want to add other photos to this selection that aren't next to one another, I'll hold down the command key on a Mac or the control key on Windows and I'll click on a couple of other photos. And then I'll click, hold, and drag from any of those photos over on top of my dog's album in the Albums panel. Now if I click that album, we see just the dog photos. Now let's say that I want another album that's just photos of my dog. I'll deselect all the selected photos by clicking in a blank area of the grid or holding the Command key on a Mac or the Control key on Windows and pressing the D key on my keyboard for deselect. And then I'll click on this photo and I'll hold the shift key and click on this photo. And with those three photos selected, I'm going to make another album. And this time I'll check include the three selected photos. Because you can select photos before you make an album or you can drag them into an album after you make the album. And I'll call this album Sam, the name of my dog, and I'll click Create. And when I click the Sam album, I see just the photos of my dog. Notice that we have some of the same photos in this album and in this album. So the point is that the same photos can appear in more than one album. I'm going to deselect those three photos by pressing Command D on a Mac or Control D on Windows. Now let's say there's a photo that you don't want to keep in an album. I'll select that photo and I can either right click and choose Remove from Album, or go up to the Edit menu and choose Remove from Album from there. Removing this photo from this album won't delete it from Lightroom CC. It will still be in the All Photos area in Lightroom CC, and it will still be in any other albums in which I've included this photo. So let's go ahead and remove this photo from the Dogs album. And when I go to the Sam album, Here's the photo that I just deleted from the Dogs album. It's still here. You can also delete a whole album, and that doesn't delete its photos from Lightroom CC. I'll right-click on the Sam album in the Albums panel, and I'll choose Delete Album, and I'll click OK. And if I click back on the Dogs album, the photos of Sam are still here. As you make more albums, your list of albums can get pretty long. So you can make folders and tuck your albums inside folders. Let's create a folder for all these sample file albums. I'll go to the plus symbol and I'll choose Create Folder. I'll give the folder a name and I'll click Create. I'll select the first tutorial sample file album and drag it on top of the folder. And that puts it inside or you can drag multiple albums together. So this time I'll select this tutorial file album and hold the shift key and select this one and drag from any one of them up into the Get Started Sample Files folder. To make more room in my albums panel, I can click this triangle to collapse that folder. And then if I need any of those albums, I'll just click that triangle again to select whatever album that I need. 
So consider using albums to organize your own photos by subjects, by projects, by favorites, and more. And remember that your albums and any changes you make to them automatically sync through the cloud to Lightroom CC on all your devices.